thank you for allowing me the opportunity to present testimony. When it comes to renewing the charter, we have to address one basic issue, accountability. When is the U.S. government going to accept that we have a massive public health catastrophe on our hands? Twenty-five years after this disease was first brought to the attention of CDC, there are at least one million American adults who suffer from it, but only 15% have the foggiest notion what is wrong with them, while fewer than 1% have a doctor who has the foggiest notion what to do about it. You can never fully recover from this disease, and it can kill patients from myocarditis and rare cancers. The CFSCC was created under Clinton to try to bring together the agencies and come up with a coordinated approach. CIFTAC was restructured under Bush to advise the Secretary of HHS in addressing the problem. I have attended most of the meetings of both agencies. The mission has not made one bit of difference in practice because the health agencies have paid no attention whatsoever to what's been happening in these meetings. The result is a stunning disconnect between what we supposedly know from this committee and what CDC and NIH have allowed the public, including medical professionals, to know. A central goal of this committee should be to mediate these information asymmetries. But in my experience, the agencies have been considerably less than cooperative in this endeavor. I have seen patients and highly respected researchers work very hard on this committee. Virtually everything I know about this disease has been presented to the committee. By now, all are published in peer-reviewed journals. Yet both NIH and CDC continue to operate as if this committee was a nuisance, or even worse, that it didn't exist at all. Long before the discovery of the retrovirus XMRV, there was considerable evidence that this is a disease that is contagious at some stage of its course. But the federal agencies have allowed the disease to spread unabated for 25 years. The agencies have allowed people to sicken and die untreated for 25 years. This must come to an end. But how? By giving this Mary. community the tool it needs, accountability. These are my recommendations for the Charter. First, because of the severity of this crisis, there must be at least four meetings a year until we get it under some level of control. Second, those who give public testimony must be allowed at least five minutes to speak. Third, the meeting should continue to be made public while the records of previous meetings should be made available. Fourth, patients in the audience should be permitted to ask questions after the ex officio members have completed their presentations. Fifth, the problems of children and adolescents must be addressed. Six, we need a response from the Secretary of Health and Human Services to regular reports to be sent from the committee. And seventh, since no one in the executive branch has been able to get the health agencies to take this disease seriously, I strongly recommend that the committee also report to Senator Tom Harkin and the Senate Committee for Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions. If the agencies continue to be unresponsive to the needs of their constituents, then there will have to be a congressional investigation into the reasons. Let's all hope CDC and NIH decide to take their responsibilities seriously before it comes to that point.